welcome back to a new video here in Swabi. In this episode or in this video, I'm gonna show you how I edit my audio and how you can edit your audio in DaVinci Resolve. And I actually, well, basically, I'm gonna show you my process for making these videos. So basically, I use two softwares I use OBS, which is the screen recording software, and then I use Audacity to record myself. And I have my microphone connected to my computer. At first, when I started the first few couple of videos that I did, I actually used I had an external microphone that I connected to my phone and I recorded it there. Then that broke, and then I started using basically my phone. I only use my phone and I use a recording app on it and I also put a sock or some type of like filter if you don't have anything you can use a sock uh, to reduce the noise and to record and then I would import the file here it was a really complicated process I would import the file to audacity and then edit it in audacity and then bring it bring it to DaVinci Resolve and then do a little bit of final touches in DaVinci Resolve and that was pretty complicated so but now I do have my own set of microphones here and my headphones and I record everything on my computer without having to do all these device switches and changes. So if you don't know anything about Audacity, it's a free software that you can download. You just Google Audacity and then you can download that and it's actually not that complicated. So I'm going to show you what I do. I'm just going to press this red button to record. I already have these here, which is the raw recording without any touches, any editing on it. And let me just play it for you. One, two, three, four, five. This is Suave right here, testing the audio. And that is how it sounds. Hopefully the recording and all that stuff doesn't mess it up and it works fine, but that is how it sounds without anything. So what is my process? The first thing that I do is you wanna leave a blank here. You wanna leave a blank here and go to effects and then go to noise reduction and then you get the noise profile then you're gonna press ctrl a to select your whole audio recording and then you're gonna press ctrl r and that will basically re-add or reapply the same effect so that you don't have to go to noise reduction again it will basically just repeat the same the last effect that you do after you do that uh you want to go to effects again and we're gonna compress it these are the there are many like tutorials on what are the best settings this is what i use so you can just copy these if you want if you're recording your screen or doing tutorials or just doing your content in general and then you're gonna compress it press ok then i press the limiter which basically sets a cap on the amount of noise that of an amount of um decibels that go in your audio and then after that, I will go to EQ and I will just use the default settings that they have. So I'm going to add a bass boost or bass boost, whatever. Then I'm going to go and reapply the same equ equalization effect. And I'm going to add the treble boost. That just to sort of like balance it out a little bit. And then after all that, let's hear it One, out. One, two, three, four, five. This is Suave right here, testing the audio. So that is a little bit more clean without all the noise that you have from the first one. And the last step after you did those other ones, the there are four. So the noise reduction, compressing, compressor, limiter, and then EQ. Then you're going to go to normalizing, which is basically going to bring everything to like minus seven decibels. I used to do minus five, then minus six, now minus seven. It all depends on how loud you're recording. Uh, you are recording if you're speaking really loud or anything, but that is the recommended around minus six decibels. Okay, and that will basically One, normalize two, it. Three, four, five. This is Suave right here testing the audio, and this is how what I would bring into DaVinci Resolve. So for that, I I usually export as WAV or WAV file, and I do. And you can either do 16 or 24. 24 is so that you can add a little bit more like effects and all that stuff. So, but I usually do 16 or 24. If I'm not gonna tweak much in DaVinci Resolve, I'm just gonna do it 16. 
So let's just put this audio test here. We're gonna save it like that. Then I just leave those blank and then it exports the piece. Okay, so now we are in DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna drag the audio into our timeline. And I usually use the first the first audio channel for the voiceover. The second one if I add any sound effects or anything little like that. And the third one for like the background soundtrack if I use a song in the video. One, two, three, four, five. This is Suave right here testing the audio. And that is how it would sound in DaVinci Resolve if you don't do anything. I don't equalize here because that will make you, then you will have to equalize every single clip that you have. So what I do is I go to the sound section here, the Fairlight section, and I add a, only a couple, depending on how bad, if there's too much noise when I'm recording or anything, what I would usually do is I would add, I always add this vocal channel. So you just drag it and here an in input or like an effects, I'm sorry, you will drag that. And this is what you would see. I usually don't change anything here. I leave the high pass and compressors like that since we already compress and normalize everything. The only thing I do is I use this preset that I already have, which basically will increase the low tones. It will decrease the mid tones and it will increase the high tones of our voiceover a little bit. So basically this is just to add a little bit more like butter or a little bit of like spices to the voice. Just one extra little thing that I do. This is Suave right here testing the audio. And one thing that you can do is like you can change this where, while your audio is playing so you can see how it sounds if you change one, it. Two, three, four, five. This is Suave right here, testing the audio. See how when I move these, One, it changes. One, two, three, four, five. This is Suave right here, testing the audio. So you can play around with these uh, markers here um, to get the sound that you want. So I use this preset that I have, which I increase the lowers a little bit, decrease the midtones. I usually bring these down again here. I just never saved a new one. But I usually leave it like that and I just add a subtle changes here and then you simply click out of it like that. If there's too much noises of like S's and all that stuff, you can add a noise reduction here. And I would use the, the ramble or only or the first one, but you're just going to make sure to play around with this because if you leave it like that, sometimes it will lower the volume of your voice too much and it will just sound like you're really far away let's see how this one looks one two three four five so you see it sounds like we are sort of like under the water one, or something two. so what you want to do is you want to play around with these um and see three four what five. ends up this is what and see what ends up sounding better so i'm going to turn these off because i don't want to use this right now I only use the vocal channel and then one last thing that sometimes I do is I add this deesser and then I put it on aggressive and then I bring these a little bit like that so it doesn't affect it, affect it too much. One, two, three, four, five. This is Suave right here testing the audio and that is how it would sound like. And that is pretty much it. I don't add any more EQ, any more dynamics or anything else here uh, because I don't want to mess it up too much. I want it to still sound natural. If you add too many things, it will sound like you're so, some sort of like radio voice and stuff. And if you do have a radio voice, you can use that. Uh, but it's better if the changes or effects that you add are subtle. So that is pretty much then i go back and i make sure that everything is fine i do one thing that i do play around here is with the volume sometimes if it is too loud i would adjust the volume right here then but you don't want to do the semitones and stuff here in your voiceover because it, may, it might end up sounding a little bit weird let's just test this out and i'll and you will see why one two three 
You see, it sounds like yours from hell. <laughs> sounds like not natural at all. One, two. If you add, I would add minus one, but I would recommend you to not do any changes so it doesn't sound unnatural. One, two, three, four, five. This is Suave right here testing the audio. And that is pretty much how I would edit the audio. Let me just make a few copies here so I can show you there. Now we have three audio files here and you can see down here the mixer. You can also click up here to open it up. And the way that this is set up is I would usually use the A1 for the voiceover. So I will leave that as default. If my recording is too low, I will increase this a little bit. But then the sound effects, I will bring these to around like here, minus 19 maybe. And then for the music, if the music is too loud, I usually would lower the music here uh, by clicking, alt, by holding Alt so these little dots show up and then lower it like that. So it will sort of like fade down and then the volume stays lower. But if your music or background sound is still too loud, what I would do is decrease this one to, to play around with it. And this is the master, it's the final one, which will basically be the ending sound of everything combined. And I will leave this as default or sometimes minus 1.7. It all depends on how loud your voice is. If your voice is a little bit not loud enough, you might want to increase these. And if you upload it to YouTube and all that stuff, you might want to um, take a chance and make it a little bit louder. Because if you check my first few videos, I exported it normal, like these at zero. But then YouTube does what YouTube does it. It compresses the audio, and that will lower the vo final volume. So then if you're if somebody's watching the video, the volume is going to be uh, it's going to be low and it's not going to be easy to watch. So you want to make sure that you have clear audio and that is loud enough for your viewers or anybody that watches the video to understand. So yeah, that is pretty much how I edit the audio for my videos here in Suave. That is my process. It's not perfect but by any means, but it's just what I'm doing right now and it will continue to change. When it does change, I will make sure to make a new video about it too. But I hope that this video serves as a guide so that you're not afraid because this looks a little bit crazy and scary the first time that you see it because you don't know what's going on, right? Especially if you're new to DaVinci Resolve. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you find this helpful and that you find it useful. And I hope to see you in the next episode here in Suave.